dive deep into the shimmering waters of the Sapphire Sea, where every ripple holds a secret and every wave whispers a tale. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby on more magical adventures in the Sapphire Sea Scrolls. In the quaint seaside village of Miratide, where the sun glistened against the gentle waves, two sisters, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby, lived in a cosy, sea-salted cottage. Goo Goo Girl, adventurous and bold, was driven by a spirit as wild as the winter waves, while her younger sister, Goo Goo Gabby, approached life with a cautious heart that often kept their feet firmly planted on the shore. It was on a windy afternoon, when the air was thick with the scent of stormy seas, that the sisters ventured into their grandmother's attic. The attic was a treasure trove of maritime relics, worn maps, and tales bound in dusty books. As they moved a creaky old chest, they uncovered a hidden compartment beneath the floorboards. Wrapped in a deep sapphire cloth, ancient scrolls and a map lay hidden, detailing a mysterious path to the legendary Sapphire Sea. The legends might be real, Gabby, exclaimed Goo Goo Girl, her eyes alight with visions of treasure and discovery. But are legends enough to set sail on? Gabby replied, her voice tinged with worry echoing with tales of sailors lured by sea whispers only to vanish. Their curiosity, however, proved stronger than their fears. The sisters decided they would set sail at dawn, seeking the mysteries of the Sapphire Sea, believing it held the key to understanding their late parents' mysterious disappearance at sea, a lingering shadow over their family. That evening, the village of Miratide gathered for the annual Festival of Tides, celebrating the ocean's bounty and mysteries. Amidst the festival's joyous clamour, the sisters listened to Old Mariner Cole, a storyteller whose voice boomed like rolling thunder. He spoke of the Mirror of Mara, an ancient artefact that revealed one's deepest self, hidden beneath the Sapphire Sea. Bolstered by these tales, the sisters resolved to find the mirror, hoping it could reveal the fate of their parents. At dawn, they boarded their small boat, the Starfish, their hearts brimming with resolve, and the ancient scrolls guiding their path. The sea mirrored the morning sky, calm and inviting as they set their course. The journey was serene, filled with stories read aloud from the scrolls, tales of a civilization that once thrived beneath the waves, their wisdom lost to time but preserved in the watery depths. By midday, they reached the coordinates marked on their map. Clad in old diving suits, they plunged into the reflective waters. Below, the sea transformed into a labyrinth of light and shadow, guiding them through coral gardens to the gates of a sunken palace. Inside the palace, amidst the eerie quiet of the underwater ruins, they found the chamber of the Mirror of Mara. Approaching the mirror, visions of darkness clouded their sight. Goo Goo Girl lost in an abyss, Gabby alone on the surface. Touching the mirror together, the visions shifted, showing them not as separate, but as a single, unbreakable bond. Their fears, reflected and conquered, deepened their resolve. As they prepared to leave with the mirror, a shadow fell across the palace doorway. Maris, a treasure hunter known for his cold heart and greedy hands, blocked their path. His eyes glinted with the darkness of the deep sea. We need this to find our parents, Goo Goo Girl declared, her resolve as hard as coral. Using their knowledge of the palace's reflective properties, the sisters created illusions with light and shadow. They confused Maris, escaping his grasp as his own fears were reflected back at him in the mirror, trapping him in his greed. With the mirror safely in hand, they made their way back to Miratide. Their return was met with cheers and tears. At a special gathering, they shared their story, intertwining like the sea's currents. Deciding to safeguard the knowledge and artefacts they discovered, the sisters turned their grandmother's attic into the Miratide Maritime Repository. They became guardians of the lore of the Sapphire Sea, inspiring others with their tales of courage and curiosity. Months passed, and the sisters' adventure became a new legend of Miratide. They learned that adventures were not just about discovering treasures, but also about uncovering truths within themselves. They had faced their fears, found strength in their bond, and kept alive the memory of their parents, whose love, like the sea, was a never-ending embrace. As they stood by the shore, watching the twilight dance upon the waves, 
They knew that each wave was a story yet to be told, and their hearts, now as deep and vast as the sea, were ready to listen. In their journey, Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby not only discovered the secrets of the Sapphire Sea, but also the deeper treasures of family, courage, and self-discovery. Their story, enriched with maritime lore and woven through with the wisdom of the ages, invites young readers to explore beyond the horizons and discover the boundless possibilities that await within the courage to seek the unknown. The festival ended under a canopy of stars, each one a silent witness to the newfound resolve in Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby's hearts. The village of Miratide fell quiet as the sisters prepared for their most daring journey yet. With the ancient scrolls secure in their boat, the starfish, they left the familiar shores behind, guided by the age-old map and a sky full of hopes. As dawn broke, the sisters sailed into the Sapphire Sea. The water here was unlike any they had navigated before. It shimmered with a mystical quality, mirroring not just the physical beauty of the world above, but seemingly reflecting the thoughts and emotions of those who dared its depths. As they journeyed further, Goo Goo Girl read from the scrolls, her voice steady against the whispering winds, recounting tales of the wise and mysterious civilization that had once thrived below these waves. Mid-journey, the sea began to reveal its secrets. Schools of colorful fish swam alongside the boat, leading the sisters toward their destination. After hours of following the sea creature's guidance, they finally arrived above the submerged palace indicated on the ancient map. Tying the starfish to a lone, sturdy coral, they donned their grandmother's old diving suits, their hearts pounding in unison with the surf. Descending into the Sapphire Sea's depths, the sisters were greeted by an underwater world alive with vibrant corals and gleaming fish that seemed to dance around them. As they approached the gates of the sunken palace, an ethereal glow emanated from within, guiding them to the heart of the ruins. There, in a grand chamber, stood the Mirror of Mara, its surface swirling with an otherworldly mist. Goo Goo Girl reached out first, her fingers trembling as they touched the cool, smooth surface of the mirror. Instantly, the mist cleared, revealing a vision of their late parents, strong and smiling, as if reassuring them from beyond. Tears streamed down Goo Goo Girl's cheeks, her heart filling with both joy and sorrow. Goo Goo Gabby joined her, and together they watched as the vision shifted, showing them the path their parents had once travelled a path that led to the treasures of wisdom the ancient civilization had left behind. With newfound courage, they explored further into the palace, discovering artifacts and more scrolls that spoke of harmony with the sea and the stars. Each artifact they collected was a piece of the puzzle, revealing more about the advanced knowledge and profound spirituality of the lost civilization. As they prepared to ascend with their treasures, the dark silhouette of Maris, the treasure hunter, emerged from the shadows. His presence was menacing, a stark contrast to the peaceful revelations the sisters had just experienced. Goo Goo Girl stood protectively in front of Gabby, her resolve firm. We have learned the true value of these treasures, Maris, and it isn't something you can sell, Goo Goo Girl declared. With clever teamwork, they used the reflective illusions of the palace and their deep understanding of the sea's behavior to evade Maris trapping him in a maze of his own greed. Safely above the waves, the sisters sailed back to Miratide with their findings. Their return was celebrated by all, and their story of courage and discovery spread far beyond their home. They transformed their grandmother's attic into a museum, the Miratide Maritime Repository, where the scrolls, artifacts, and the Mirror of Mara were displayed. They became the keepers of the ancient secrets and the protectors of the Sapphire Sea's lore. Years passed, and the sisters grew into wise women, revered not only for their brave journey, but also for their dedication to preserving and sharing their knowledge. The Mirror of Mara remained a symbol of their journey, a journey of truth, courage, and the unbreakable bond between sisters. Standing by the shore one evening, watching as the sun dipped below the horizon, they reflected on their adventures. The sea, once a vast mystery, now felt like an old friend, its waves whispering stories for those willing to listen. Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gabby knew their adventure was just one of many tales the sea held, and as they looked out over the water, they understood that their story was part of a much larger, never-ending saga of the Sapphire Sea. As our journey through the Sapphire Sea comes to a close, remember, 
like Goo Goo Girl and Goo Goo Gaby that courage and curiosity are the keys to unlocking the wonders of our world. If this story inspired you, give it a like, share it with friends and stay tuned for more heartwarming tales.